Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today I'm answering a question that was sent into our office and the question is, Annette, what mushrooms are good for fighting cancer? I want to thank you for this question and that's exactly what we're going to answer today. I have done so many videos on different foods that are cancer preventative or help that are anti-tumor and it's important to notice which one of the foods God has created that is actually going to help fight for us. Actually, all of the foods that he created for us are going to help fight for us. So let's talk about this today. But before we do, let me just say thank you for letting me share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And remember the number one ingredient is God loves you and desires to have a relationship with you that is real and personal. Now to our question for today. Most grocery stores are gonna sell their mushrooms in these prepackaged containers, and that's perfectly fine to buy them that way. I prefer to buy mine that are not cut. The less times someone or a machine touches my food, the happier I am. So that's what I prefer. Now the portobello and the white mushrooms, those are very good for you, but there's actually some other mushrooms that actually have been more studied in their anti-tumor effect. But if this is all you have in your store is these selections here, then go ahead and use them in your diet and you will get many benefits. Now let's look at the science. Now, even though we're talking about mushrooms, you have to think about other foods that you're gonna eat the mushrooms with. So as you can see, I'm just settled here right in front of the, the beautiful red and green and romaine lettuces. And just down the produce aisle, we've got radishes, carrots, celery, different varieties of greens. This is a beautiful buffet to accompany the mushrooms because yes, mushrooms are one food that actually is going to go in and prevent tumors from developing or growing stronger, but yet we need other foods to complement them. So let's move now into the research. Research showed that there are 20 different species that are very beneficial for cancer treatment or as a combination with the chemo. Now mushrooms are known to complement chemotherapy and radiation therapy by countering the side effects of the treatment. Now, you may not realize that chemo is one of the main causes of death, but it's never going to be listed on a death certificate. The death certificate is always going to say a cancer. If we can lessen the effects of the chemo, we can actually let the treatment work directly on the tumor and let the healthy cells be protected. So we wouldn't have as many symptoms as nausea or bone marrow suppression, anemia, or our immune system being lowered. Recently, it has been discovered that the anti-tumor effect of mushrooms is higher than they ever expected. Now, I say recently because the medical science in America is always new to the natural elements that can help us. Other countries are so far advanced in this, yet it has been used, mushrooms have been used for decades in other countries. An example that is cancer-fighting substance is beta-glucan. And you've heard me talk about beta-glucans that come from different foods, and especially from this grocery store that I'm at today. But yet it also comes from and is a prime nutrient in mushrooms. Now I did several videos on this topic, so make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you always get notified when I'm teaching you another topic that might be pertinent to you. Now just a side note, if you don't have cancer and you're not planning on getting cancer and you're not concerned about cancer, this is okay because these foods are all going to protect against autoimmune system diseases and just also to help us get rid of heavy metals and to get rid of pesticides that are in our system. So everything I'm teaching you that may be cancer focused is going to help you in all areas of your health. Now, just understand beta-glucan. In some countries, they offer you three options when you get cancer. One is chemo, one is radiation, and the third is beta-glucan. That's how powerful mushrooms are when we are fighting cancers. There were 20 different mushrooms that were studied in their uh, ability to help fight cancers or their ability to help prevent cancers. Now, I tried to find all 20 in the grocery stores and that was impossible. If you happen to find all 20, which I'm not gonna have time to go through all 20 today, I'm just gonna go through the top five that you will find in the grocery store, but I will link the study down below so that you can go and do your own research. So you may not find them all in one grocery store, but possibly some of the health food stores would have more options. 
uh, the Deerberg store that I shop in St. Louis, they always have a just a beautiful mushroom display. So don't be surprised if you see instead that the supplement companies are picking up on this research and adding it to their supplement lines. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's actually an excellent opportunity for you to get a more potent extract than what you can get. You'd, like sometimes you'd have to eat this entire container of mushrooms in one sitting to get one fourth of the amount that you could get in a supplement. That's why extracts and supplements are so beneficial for us. Now, what we have in mushrooms is the polysaccharides. And these are best known and just very potent ingredients in mushrooms that are very anti-tumor effect. Now, some common mushrooms that you may recognize in the store, number one is gonna be the maitake. Most of us see the shiitake quite often, but the maitake will show up in some stores as well. And the maitake is known as the dancing mushroom. So I think that's kind of fun. And it's regarded to impart such vitality to your health. It is very prominent with the beta-glucan. And they can get this purified from the frondosa because it, it enhances the efficacy of the anti-cancer agent cisplatinum. So if you are a person who's taking cisplatinum and you're like, wow, I really wish this would work better, faster, stronger, and I wouldn't need as many treatments, then enhancing it with beta-glucan, and this is why beta-glucan is such a good complement to chemo treatments because it improves the effectiveness of the chemo and it protects your healthy cells. So this is why other countries offer beta-glucan as a common complement to take with all treatments. Beta-glucan also helps to decrease the number of cells that are affected by your immune system being out of balance. So this is really important. Mushroom number two is the reishi mushroom. It's also called the mushroom of immortality. And it's been traditionally administered throughout Asia for centuries. Now think about that, for centuries. America seems to struggle with all of the different cancer rates and they keep coming up with more drugs, but yet in other countries, they use natural. And so for centuries, they've been offering this as a treatment. It has such a strong anti-cancer effect that it's just an important element to add. Now I'm gonna add down below the beta-glucan product that I have talked about several times on these videos. So make sure you're subscribed to my videos and my email list so you're always notified about these products. So beta-glucan is a, an essential nutrient from the mushrooms, but also in a supplement form to help you with your treatments or if you're choosing to not do it through treatments. All right, mushroom number three is lion's mane. Now, this has attracted great attention because of its anti-tumor effect and its immune boosting effect. So I will link the study down below so you can read it for yourself, but definitely lion's mane can be found in many grocery stores. Number four is cordyceps. Now, cordyceps extract has shown the effect of causing tumors to basically die, especially colon and prostate tumors. So now I have not found cordyceps in the grocery store, but I have found it in many different supplements and really good quality supplements. So you might want to look for that. And number five that we're going to talk about today is the Chaga mushroom, C-H-A-G-A. It's one of the widely known medicinal mushrooms and it's been used to treat various cancers all over Russia and the Baltic countries for many centuries. And so America is usually slow on recognizing what foods are going to build health because we are more of a pharmaceutical based country. Now recognize the foods I'm always teaching you are always gonna be based on the three principles. Principle number one, eat the foods that God called food for us, that he called good. Principle number two, eat it as close to the way he designed it. Well, this huge buffet of produce is exactly the way God designed it. And number three, don't let any food become an addiction. And that actually can be a huge contributor to cancer. 
when we are addicted to sugars and processed foods and fast foods and junk food, yeah, you're given that cancer tumor everything it needs to grow and to grow quickly. So consider God's foods as the answer. And I know you're gonna feel so much better. Just learn to love these foods and your body will say thank you in many different ways. Thanks for letting me share this answer with you today. If you have a question that you would like me to answer, then please send an email to info at thebiblicalnutritionist.com and just say question for Annette in the subject line. And then we will add it to our list of questions so I can answer them here. It is always my joy and my honor and just such a blessing to serve you God's recipe for excellent health. And it's three ingredients, how to be confident in the kitchen, confident with your health, and most importantly, confident in understanding how much God loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. And in Micah, it says an unchanging love. So although the world changes around us, God's love never changes. And he created you exactly the way you're supposed to be from the moment you were born. And actually he's loved you from the moment of conception. And so he's willing to forgive and take you into his arms today. And that's so important for us to understand. There is someone there God is there who loves you unconditionally, yet he desires you to receive that love and create a relationship with him.